morning and welcome to Rose Scott TV Extended Edition. I'm Diamond. And I'm Jayla. Hard to believe that we've been in school for a whole month now. And this first month of school has proven to be quite memorable. Oh, so you like your classes this year? Well, yeah, but I'm talking about a different memorable experience. The solar eclipse, which experienced on August 21st, many students chose to stay home. Others left school early to watch as the moon blocked the sun. One of the most memorable moments of our century has happened the first month of school. The solar eclipse on August 21st had many of us looking up at the sky. We wanted to know what you like about this natural wonder. Many students were picked up early to get a chance to see the eclipse. I felt like it was a once in a lifetime opportunity and it was something I won't be able to see again, so I think it was great. While some students thought the eclipse was a cool experience, most kids we spoke to was disappointed. I ain't feel nothing. I went myself to sleep. I didn't even know it happened, to tell you the truth. I slept through the whole thing from what I was told. The way I felt about the eclipse is it wasn't, it didn't live up to my expectations of what I thought was going to happen. I thought it was going to be completely black or we was going to see something that was abnormal, but we really didn't. It was kind of basic. Here at Pembroke, we were at 97% totality, so we did not get the fully experience of the sky going totally dark. For many of us, not only was it a great excuse to get out of school, but for one day, everyone has became interested in the science of the universe. For Brit Squad TV, Taisha. A new school year means fresh faces, freshman faces. Being a freshman on campus is not easy, but the good news is we have all been there and survived. And you can too. Here are a couple of segments that may help. Hey, you're the new freshman I'm helping out, right? The name's Brian. Follow me. We'll have to go through the media center quietly because there are people testing in there. But I'll be able to give you a few tips on uh, what to do and what not to do once we make it to the back. Okay, since you're new here, there are a few things you might want to know. First things first. I know that the school supply list gives you a lot of things to buy, but you don't really have to carry all of that around with you. Another thing you might need to know. Make sure you always bring a pen or pencil with you. You don't want to be caught without one. Okay? And just because it's your freshman year, don't think you can take things easy. If you screw up this year, you're going to be stuck for the next three years in high school. You're going to have to be cramming. Okay? Also, high school, it's not all books and paper, okay? There's some fun in it too, you know? You can hang out with your friends at lunch, you can join a club. Okay? Well, that's pretty much all I have to tell you, so... Do you think you have all that? Do you want to survive your first year of high school while still having a good time? Hi, I'm Jacqueline Anderson. And I'm Julia Woodard. And today we're going to be teaching you how to survive your first year of high school. And then later we'll be hitting the halls of Pebblebrook to get feedback from students and staff. Without further ado... And let's get into these five tips. One, don't be loud in the hallway. Two, don't get attached to anyone fast. Three, keep, get good grades. This is your ninth grade year. Your freshman year is very important. Four, be yourself, be you. And number five, keep your friends close. Don't, you can make new friends, but like, don't be a follower. Now let's go get Julian. Used to call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need my love. Late night when you need my love. I know when. Julian, what you doing? Bro, what you doing? You just messed up my video. Mm -hmm. The halls of Pepper need you. I 
guys, so now we about to just be in the hallway. We about to interview a couple of people and uh, let's see what everybody has to say. All right, hi, I'm here with... <laughs> Miss Monlin. Miss Monlin, and I would like to ask you, what type of advice you would give to the freshmen out there? Well, the freshman class of 2021, my advice would be for you to take going to Pebble Brook very seriously, do not skip class, and make sure that you get good grades. Hi, I'm here with... You know my name. You know my name. Bruh. You know my name. Bruh. And I'd like to ask you, what's some advice you would give to the freshmen out there? Um, let's see. Freshman year is your most important year, so make sure you pass algebra. Uh, be friends with your teachers because they will help you. You know what I mean? Well, some teachers. They will help you in the future, you know, especially when you have recommendations and whatever. And uh, do not like every girl your freshman year. It's horrible. They will come back to you. All right, hi, I'm here with Guadalupe. What's some advice you would give to the freshmen out there? Um, some advice I would give to the freshmen are don't date upperclassmen, you know, like seniors, you know. Um, actually, and also, um, what, what's that thing? Okay, do your work at all times. Don't play around or whatever, and yeah. All right, hi, I'm here with Mr. Washington. Washington, I would like to ask you, what's some advice you would give to the freshmen out there? Uh, to the freshman class of 2021, we're excited to have you here at Pebble Brook. My biggest tidbit, tidbit, tidbit would be for you to go to class, go to class on time, and don't get behind, because if you get behind, it's hard to catch up. Students who pass math usually pass and graduate on time. Okay. And we out. And you know we already out passing math. With All right. Hi, I'm here with Nathaniel Spreadley. Nathaniel, and I just want to ask you, what's some advice you would give to the freshmen out there? I say don't skip and be educated and listen to the teachers. Good advice. Yeah. We will be right back after this commercial break. Did you know 64% of children that get bullied don't report it, only 36% do. Students who experience bullying are at a risk for poor school adjustment, sleep difficulties, anxiety, and depression. Students who experience bullying are twice as likely as non-bullied peers to experience negative health effects such as headaches and stomach aches. Five point seven percent of bullying situations stop when a peer intervenes on the Be the one who breaks the chain. Okay guys, I want you to think about what you want to do in the future. Which career is right for you? Make sure you write it down on a piece of paper. Oh, I've never really thought about what I want to do with my life. I can take graphic design and create graphics for Time Magazine or a Marvel movie. I can join JROTC, learn leadership, military skills, and maybe get to travel the world. I can take cosmetology, or maybe I can take culinary arts class and become the next Gordon Ramsay. Wow! I have so many options to choose from with all the career technical agricultural education classes in Cobb County Schools. But out of all of those options, I think AV Film is for me. The first month has already been busy for several sports at Pearl Brook, including our football team, which competes tonight against Osborne. We wanted to know how the team feels about tonight's games. Hey, I'm Sam. We got a big matchup today, Pearl Brook versus Osborne. We asked some coaches and some players about the game. Brooke going to win, of course. This year I say about 50 to 7 most. I give them probably like 30. Osborne, I give them 14. Or Tyler. It'll probably be Tyler because, you know, he never give up on the running and stuff. So. Uh, scoring and penalties. Most challenging? There's really nothing challenging about it because Osborne. 
Well, we just got to take care of ourselves and play football the way we can play and, and not worry about all the other stuff. I think if we do that, we'll be just fine. I feel like we'll make the playoffs again and we'll go further. Well, I think we're going to have a great season. We started off a little slow against South Cobb and made some mistakes, and hopefully that game will help us make us better. Uh, there's no such thing as a good loss, but I believe that, you know, we got to take the positives out of it and make sure that we're getting better at what we're doing. I love my players. They work hard, and it's some of the best players I've had since I've been coaching, and I've been coaching a long time. I love them to death, and, and they play hard, and they're getting better, and they, they do exactly what we want them to do. We're here first from the players and the coaches. Beater, 7.30. Are you planning on going to college? If so, Gabby has some tips for you to take a look. Gabby speaks. Gabby speaks. Gabby speaks. Gabby speaks. Gabby speaks. Hey everybody, it's Gabby T, and for this video, I'm going to take you to College Sport. So tune in. Welcome to CollegeBoard.org. It's a site where you can find your SAT scores, PSAT scores, and also search for college. If you haven't already, make sure to sign up. Select I am a student and subscribe to the colleges that could potentially give you more scholarships. For the purpose of this video, we're going to do a college search under the access tile. There you will find filters for your interest of the college type, location, majors, sports, and so forth. College Board also shows you if the school has a college application fee waiver available, if you can see, or if you do have one or qualify for one, make sure you talk to your counselor so they can send in one along with their recommendation when you're actually applying for the school. At the bottom of the page, there is a menu that shows you which colleges you have an interest in, their city and state. Next to it is a My Plan option. So let's take a look. In your plan, there are segments for each grade and a calendar on the bottom with SAT related dates. Since most of us are seniors, let's take a look at the 12th grade page for the fall. The site gives advice on what you should do or consider for the year. It'll help track for colleges, college visits, and what to do when planning with your counselor. So that's pretty much it for College Board. That's all for now on Gabby Speaks TV. Can't wait to see you next time and hope you learn something new. Gabby Speaks. Gabby Speaks. Gabby Speaks. Gabby Speaks. Gabby Speaks. A big congratulations to this year's senior class. This is your year to shine. Before you know it, you'll be taking your finals. Congratulating and moving on to your next chapter in your life. That's all for our show this week. Whether you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior, make it a great year, everyone. And remember, Falcons, believe, believe you can! can.